Sucko. Yeah. It's it's all about classic rock. What is it about that music that's so so it's got so much longevity to it? I don't know because I grew up with it, and so I never seemed like there was anything else. It um, like it was a simpler time before but computers. It does. Yeah. It does. It's uh, it's about uh, it's about loud guitars and drums and bass and I think it's just satisfying. You know, the cream rises. And it seemed like when MTV for came out, they the record companies kind of dicked around with the bands and kind of dressed them up and made yeah. fuck with their sound it and the radio time. kind of diluted some stuff. But you know what? The good stuff lasts, and uh, I think people will always return to that and feel good about it. But it'll probably be like jazz or something. You know, where there's just this kind of niche audience for it. So that's all right. But we like it. Talk about when you heard about winning the Grammy and what that meant to Ronnie. Well, it was. we were in Europe at the time. We had booked a tour. And we thought, well, we're not going to be here. We're for sure going to win. But there's no way we could win. Because we're not really a heavy metal band. But uh, it meant a lot to us. Because we loved the guy and loved his music and loved him. And... To be able to do that, that's the best way to win it, really. Talk about your best memories of him being on the movie set. Uh, it was uh, it was just, we're such fans. He's the nicest, generous guy. And uh, recording in the studio was really special. Just to see that actually go down. And then to have him sing something, you know, for us, it was, it was all too much. It was too much. And, uh, and now, in retrospect, to have that, experience and have him captured and uh, he's he's the greatest he's the greatest well why is it important no matter how successful you get to keep your feet on the ground and treat people you know with, with well, humanity you know? oh yeah he's a, the best example of that he was uh, what is he saying I was talking about what, how great Ronnie was we're talking about you know the, the humanity no matter how successful you get yeah. why is it important to treat people well I mean you just gotta you gotta stay grounded because uh, if you if you get carried away in your own super rocket sauce, uh, get high in your own supply. That's usually the beginning of the end. I was going to say something wrong. I always feel like yeah, when I'm when my back is turned, you're you're trying to tarnish my legacy. <laughs> so when you heard you won won the Grammy, what what did that mean as far as your support of Ronnie's cause here? I mean, it was just a tremendous tribute to to Ronnie James. We're we're just proud to be a little tiny part of, of Ronnie's history, you know? It was like, uh, I think it was it was the, the Grammy uh, Academy. Is it an Academy, the Grammy voters? I think it was just their way to to, to say that they, they still, you know, were thinking about him and, and loving his, his uh, music after all these years. I mean, we were just doing the best we could with established greatness. Well, what is it about that classic rock music it just seems like it it was recorded yesterday and some of it's 40, 50 years on now. Don't confuse it with classic rock, heavy metal. It belongs where it belongs, on a separate shelf. But, uh, I mean, good music lasts, whether, whether it's heavy metal or classic rock or jazz or whatever. He was a tremendous musician, had an incredible creative mind, and... Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna. People are gonna be listening to him in 100, 200 years, 300 years. As long as we still survive, as long as there's still lovers of music, people are gonna be singing his jams. Sure. And what's, what advice do you have to young creative people today? Whether they're writers or actors or stop. musicians, just stop. But if they can't stop, we don't need the if competition. They won't stop. What do I want they won't them stop. competing with us? What, what advice? What do they need to hold dear? I got no. Heart? I got no. Oh, I got advice. Get lucky. Keep the fires burning. Figure out what you want to do for free, and then just do that. And 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 pro no, probably plan on not ever getting paid. Because then you, then you're leading yourself to a life of disappointment. If it's all about getting paid for it someday. Sure. Do what you love do to do. Love. Do it for free, and then who knows? You might get lucky. That's what we did. And get some good headshots. <laughs> I don't know. It's a whole new world now. Sure. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you. Appreciate it.